Hello everyone, welcome to Code Enzyme and in this and in this video I am going to discuss this problem count subarrays. Let's take some permutation. Uh, let's say we have, I mean we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Now let me try to jumble them. So what I can do is I can create, write 3 here, 2, 1 and uh, 5, 6, okay? Uh, okay, so what I did was uh, I made a window, like okay, my window starts from here. Now, uh, I mean, like if I'm starting from here, I will keep, uh, I will say, okay, sum equals to three. And uh, I will also make my answer array for every digit. Let's say for sum equals to one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, obviously, since sum equals to three, I will say, okay, sum, uh, sum of three becomes one. Then I will add uh, three plus two, it becomes five. So I will say sum uh, five equals to one. Then 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6, so I will also increase my answer. But if I add the next and next member, then clearly my uh, I can't go above 6, right? So I will break out of this loop. Now I will start from here. Now I will start from here and uh, start adding the numbers. So for 2, I will say, okay, one more. Then 3, this becomes 2. Then I can't add again because this will be, the sum will become 8 of this whole subarray. So I will skip this step and start another iteration from here uh, from the third uh, third uh, index then i will add uh, 1 plus 5 is 6 so this will becomes 2 and al also 1 will become 1 right then um, since 6 plus 5 is 11, 6 plus 6 is 12 so i will break out of this loop then i will i am here uh, now since i am here uh, so uh, sum, of, sum of 5 will become 2 and now 6 plus 5 is 11 so i have to break out of this loop and sum of 6 will become uh, equals to 3 and I think I left another number equals to 4. So when I re reach here, I can make it 4 as 1. And now I need to prove that. Uh, and now what I observed was uh, the number of operations was not n square. Just because we have two loops, it doesn't mean, mean that we will have n square because the summation is cumulative. And even if we have 1, 1, 1, 1, uh, like if we have 2, uh, because the sum of, because the summation is cumulative and uh, like, even if we have a series of 1, like 1, 2, 3, so n into n plus 1 upon 2 is greater than n at what, uh, uh, at, uh, at what index, like if you ask like that, then clearly, my if my uh, n will not go more than 2, I mean, I mean, uh, I, I'm just trying to say that uh, this operation is not big of n square, even if you do it like this, it will, uh, the number of iterations will not go more than n log n, okay? Not uh, it will obviously be less than 10 to the power 9. That's what I'm trying to say, and it will pass your uh, test case. Uh, pass your so I hope you are able to understand this. Let's see the code. Basically, I am doing is uh, forget this window. Uh, I mean, you can watch the video where I did this, this live, but uh, okay. For every integer, I am storing the sum, and whenever I am adding it, if the sum was um, less than equals to n then i'm saying answer plus plus otherwise i'm breaking out of this loop so the answer is pretty simple actually and then we so you can simply print an end here so i hope you were able to understand this let's move on to the next problem